Today is December 22nd, 2021, and it shows that the intruder left at 4.38 a.m. Of course, I didn't, and they're back again. You see that blue ring? They're just casting a bigger... Yeah, they are. Directly, almost directly. Okay, back up on my hill again monitoring everything I'm doing, everything I'm saying, recording, watching my text messages, listening to me right now as I'm recording this. I see you. And this is some type of a military device. I also believe the police departments involved because they play too dumb. The amount of crap that's going on in this town and the amount of activity, criminal activity, there's no way they don't know what's happening here. I've been sick, severely ill with um, lymphoma. And so I've intentionally been oblivious to everything around me. I came here to be oblivious and just have some peace and quiet and rest so I could heal up. And so if I'm trying my best not to get involved with or pay attention to anything going on, in this city and town, I don't socialize with anybody here. I don't go to any of the events. I deliberately, intentionally stay completely closed off. And all this crap is still involving me, despite my efforts not to be involved with any of these people or anything to do with them. I didn't come here for that. I got plenty of friends and family and folks that I know. I've spent most of my life in a sea of people. I wanted peace and quiet just to be with my animals, work on some projects, and rest. And so all this keeps getting brought to me, brought to my property, brought to my front door, brought to me. So if it's on that level and that much activity is going on, there's no way the people who are supposed to know what's going on, and they're trying too hard just to cover everything up. They keep trying to discredit me, act like I'm crazy. Oh, my mind is very sound, right? Thank you very much. And so they, they are spending too much try, time trying to deflect what's really happening here. So in my book, it says their asses are involved. There's not a time I leave my property, I don't see at least two or three law enforcement vehicles. They don't just happen to be crossing my path and they don't just happen to be where I am every time I go somewhere. I'm not stupid. Again, I grew up in a family of law enforcement officers and my adopted mom after my bi biological mom passed away as a DA. I've dealt with and worked with private investigators and I've worked in the federal court. I've worked in the, the regular court system. I know how this crap works. And again, my family is six generations military, so I'm not stupid. I'm not as naive as the general public as to what capabilities they have and how they use what they have. I'm not the average person. And I'm very tech savvy, so if they can get past all my defenses and everything I know how to do, we're talking counterintelligence and, and people on higher levels and equipment that the general public does not have access to. So they can try to play this mess off all they want. And a lot of this is behind, one, it's a racist as hell out here. And they made it very clear, the first week I was here, I was not welcome. Every one of the founding families, which my property happens to be in the middle of, with the exclusion of one, made a point to make sure that I wasn't welcome. Two, they like to have a heart attack. One dude almost turned purple the day that I paid the back taxes on the property and purchased the property. They had plans for this place and they've been doing everything in their power to try to change the records, try to keep our names off the records even though we are the sole lawful legal owners of this property and everything else they can do. And they think I'm stupid and I don't know what the hell they're doing. I know exactly what they're up to. Just like I know the canal through the side of my property has been like Grand Central Station since I've been here. And they're cutting gates open, cutting locks off, city employees deliberately leaving gates unlocked and, and open. 
because they have to have access because of the water. But water stops at October. This is December. There's still too much traffic up and down and in and out of that canal. They're running drugs because guess what's on the other side of the field from my property? An airport. I'm not stupid. I see what their asses are doing. I just didn't want no part of it. Their little crooked little asses in their little crooked little town could keep all their crap all for I care. Just keep me out of it. And no, you ain't taking my property. You know, you're not going to try to finagle and scheme your way into taking what belongs to me. And if you guys got a bigger problem with that, you need to take it up with the person who sold it to me because she sold it to me under false pretenses. And before they did all this crazy, stupid mess, all they had to do was ask me, would I be willing to sell the property? And they would have gotten a resounding hell yes. Because I was lied to and duped into getting this place in the first damn place. Which I am not happy with. I can't use it for the purposes that we need. So all this destroying and vandalizing and hurting my animals and, and tearing down pens and tearing down everything that we put up just to secure the animals. For one, it's just slowing me down and leaving. Messing in my bank accounts, emptying my bank accounts, all these unauthorized charges, everything they do because they're trying to wreak havoc on my personal life, my business, physically here at the property, everything they could possibly do. None of this crap was necessary. I don't want to be among them. I don't want nothing to do with them. I never did. I came here to be left the hell alone. And when I found out it wasn't what I had originally intended to do and for my original purposes, I already had no use for this place. And I've publicly posted that. I was already actively looking for something else and had something else. And their asses kept messing with things and meddling with things, causing me financial distress and problems and spending all kinds of money on things that I didn't need to be spent on. They're the ones holding me up and got me held here and bound here with their stupidity. I don't have time for this crap. And as you see how he keeps moving in closer to get a good, a better listen and, and you know, fuck you. I'm tired of your stupid shit. You see them back and forth, back and forth. They have not given me a moment's peace since I've been here. Illegal use of the military, illegal use of the law enforcement. And yeah, I know your asses are involved too. There's at least four or five people at any given time logged in or illegally cloned my SIM card and listening to everything I say, every text I send, everything to my phone. Just like this one who's trying to pretend like keeps coming in closer and going back in all this mess. The city is dirty as hell here. The law enforcement is dirty as hell here. And so is the military. All of them, no. But too many of them, yes. One is too many. And one of the addresses where my accounts were constantly logged into and being accessed from, a, a law enforcement officer's car is constantly parked there. So he either lives there or he's closely involved with somebody there. The bottom line is they know what's going on. They're a part of all this crap on some level. And you know what I'm looking at this? You see how it has a property line right here? Uh-uh. They trying to change the property line on my property? My property goes all the way back to this line here. I know what the asses are doing. They're not getting my property. Every federal agency has been made aware of everything that they're doing. Every change that they made in the records. I took photographs and copies plus my original documentation. Every time there was a change. Illegally made change. Because I didn't authorize anything and I didn't sign anything. And all this identity theft, what? They think they can identity theft me and have somebody else sign away what's mine? <laughs> you lost your damn mind. That ain't happening. I put this property into a trust. They take several of us to sign off on it. 
And ain't nobody going to do that. All this stupid crap that they're pulling. And the thing is, if they had asked, especially when I first got here, because I was duped into getting this property in the first place, and I didn't want this headache. This place is covered in glass and metal. Do you know how much money and time and effort it's going to take to clean all this mess up? Do you know how much time and effort just to clean the areas that we do occupy I've already had to put into this place? When that's time and effort that I could have been doing a million other things? And the way these people are acting, what, is this property you're sitting on some gold? Because this particular area is high in concentrates of gold, silver, and copper. That's a geological report that was done two years ago. Yes, I know. I pay attention. I read. Because we do have the mineral rights on this property. So what did they find? You think I'm not going to take the time? Me and mine aren't going to take the time to find out what's here? Y'all ain't snatching nothing up. <laughs> they really, really need to quit with all this stupid crap. And, and trying to... I'm too sound of mine. And I've been through hell and high waters from childhood so I'm not going to get old and get weak and get stupid and anybody who knows me and a lot of people know me know if I say something it's true so you can keep on trying to cover my whole area and try to scan all my devices and all that shit because your ass is getting locked out of every fucking thing I'm tired of you guys playing with me I'm tired of you messing in my shit yeah I see you and you see them Keep on trying to cast it higher and, and, and get closer and, and try to get more and more. Trying to scan everything in here. No, I'm hip to y'all. Y'all getting up out of my shit. And charges are going to be brought against your behinds. For illegally. Because there ain't no way, no shape, no form. You can ever try to say you got any legal grounds for the shit you've been pulling.